Joining me now, author of Mad Politics, Keeping Your Sanity in a World Gone Crazy, and member of the Donald J. Trump for President 2020 Media Advisory Board, Gina Loudon, Fox News contributor, Deneen Borelli, and attorney and Trump Advisory Board mem member, Madison Jesse Otto. Uh, thank you all of you for joining us here. The impeachment, I mean, they cannot <laughs> get enough of it. And Dr. Loudon, I'll go to you first. What's your take on that? Well, yes, in this climate of mad politics, perhaps we need a new definition of insanity that goes something like this. Insanity is doing the same thing you did in 2016 and expecting a different outcome. Apparently, they don't understand that just hating Trump is not a party platform. They're not going to win on it. And they need to find something to replace that bizarre thought that has only only succeeded really in dividing a nation and, and polarizing us in ways that media has never done before. And I would personally love to see the media help us come together by presenting both sides of issues in a fair and balanced way and letting audiences decide. Now, Deneen, you've been crisscrossing the country. I've seen you out in some other states uh, talking and addressing other audiences. What are you hearing people saying? Do you get addressed with impeachment questions or is this just something that's found on these with these East Coast liberal media elites? Uh, I think people are just really amazed at the fact that the mainstream media has gone to such lengths to just really flat out lie to Americans. I mean, it's enough for me to keep up with what's going on. I'm sure you guys are having a crazy time as well. Uh, but it's great that President Trump is calling out the liberal mainstream media and the crowd loves it when he brings it up. And people are watching. They know. And it's so hard to determine what is true and what is not. And in a a lot of cases, when they do flat out lie, they don't come out and try to correct what they've said to try to address what the real facts or issues are. They have an agenda. The agenda driven media has an agenda to discredit and to, and to demonize President Trump, his administration. And this is what we're seeing on a daily basis. Uh, Madison, how do you see this? I mean, you're watching the media. Does it seem fair and balanced to you? Yeah, one word, delusional. When it comes down to it, we have a biased mainstream media, and they will stop at nothing from destroying our president. Fake news, botched and misreported stories over and over again. And of course, all of this coupled with a complete lack of recognition for his successes and his accomplishments. This is the reality of the mainstream media right now. It's un-American, it's unethical, and frankly, the people I talk to across this country are sick of it. Now, Gina, um, the media has been pounding on impeachment. They have a, you know, this Trump fascination, anything. They just kind of blow it up. But is America buying that? I mean, I don't see anything that the Democrats are talking about actually breaking through. I don't see any leadership from the Democratic Party. And I certainly don't hear anything about their platform. Right. Well, the establishment media has completely evaded the heartland of America, and they really believe that the things they hear at their stuffy cocktail parties are what the middle of America is thinking, but it's not. And I don't understand how they can look at the actual numbers, record low unemployment of black people, record low unemployment of Hispanics, record low unemployment of women, popularity among minorities doubling since this president was elected. What do they think those people are going to do? do they really think they're going to continue to swallow the lies that the establishment media wants to put out. Of course not. And not only will they not continue to believe it, Congressman, they're going to be adamant in their defense against it. So there's a Trump train that's stronger than ever because of what the establishment media has created. Now, Deneen, th there's unbelievable progress on not only the foreign affairs, but domestically, jobs, the economy, jobs, jobs again, the unemployment. I mean, the numbers are, are just absolutely stunning, but I don't see the media talking about those at all. <laughs> well, if you're the average person yeah, well, in the United States and you're not watching, you know, Fox and some others, you know, the Wall Street Journal and reading about this, how are they even supposed right. to get a glimpse of what's happening? Yeah, it is off the rails. And the media is still mad at the fact that the liberal media is still mad at the fact that President Trump is President Trump. And so they don't want to talk about his accomplishments. They don't want to talk about our great economy, record low unemployment, all of the things that our, 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 the other panelists have mentioned, uh, how well the administration is doing. And again, this election was about jobs and the economy. President Trump looking out for the forgotten men and women. He kept his promise. And that's 
that's what we're seeing. But the media, of course, does not want to report it because no. they have a different agenda. Now, Madison, I see the Democrats embracing the resistance movement, a scorched earth. Just everything is bad. How do you see it? What do the Democrats really stand for these days? They don't stand for much of anything, and that's exactly why they're losing elections. They'll continue to lose when it comes to midterms in November. They go around talking about, oh, we're going to see a blue wave. No, we're going to see a red wave as a result of the fact that they aren't standing for anything. There's no leadership in the Democratic Party, and it's, it's not what people want to see. People want to hear what these candidates can do for them, not how much they dislike Trump. Yeah. It's, it's really sad to see that it's like that. And when it comes to CNN and their bots reporting on this, they're continuing to cover this, thinking it's going to help their agenda, which I said before is to destroy the president. It's not helping. The president's more successful than ever, continuing to accomplish everything he said he would and everything they said back in 2016 that he could not do. Well, I think that I think an American people see through it. And I appreciate all three of you joining us on this uh, beautiful Friday night. So thank you again.